Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Xbox 360 collection video. I left off with Stranglehold, and I'm going to start right here, which is Left 4 Dead. I got the Game of the Year edition because it's the only one they had. Uh, I got this one night because I just had my birthday and my cousin told me it was an amazing game. So I had to try it, and I tried it, and I was amazed. It's an absolutely gorgeous game. It's just so much fun to play. I prefer it over the second one, obviously, which is right here. Left 4 Dead 2, they did a lot of improvements. DLC for this game is really good. By the way, I have the DLC for Left 4 Dead. And I have the one with the other survivors for this one. I don't have the newest one. But I really do love the Left 4 Dead games. If they do make a third one, I don't know if they are. If they do, I will definitely pick it up because I just love them. This is Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda. Not the greatest games. Last Plan Extreme Condition. I got this game from a pawn shop for ten dollars. Me and my brother went half on it, but I don't think he even remembers. Just kidding. No, we didn't go half. But I bought this, and it's all right. It's just the heat thing really turned me off of the game. You're gonna laugh at this NBA. I mean, MLB 2K8. I know it's really old, but it's still a really good baseball game, and I will update because I absolutely love baseball. Medal of Honor Airborne. Um. Not a bad first-person shooter game, not popular. I like the whole idea that you parachute down from levels, obviously, because it's called Airborne. But it's actually really fun. If you see it for cheap, I'd pick it up. NCAA 07 March Madness. To be honest, I played this game once and haven't touched it yet. I just got it because it was so cheap. NHL 07. Um, it's kind of glitchy now. NHL 08. I just got this game. I was going to buy a copy that had one of those uh, buy and sell cover things that are ugly as hell. But my mom found this one with the cover. NHL 09. Got that from my friend for $10. And my newest one is NHL 10. I probably will buy NHL 11 and I will definitely buy 12. And I really am hoping that either Thomas or Chari gets voted in. One, because they're my mom and my favorite team, and I'm, yeah, I go Boston in the playoffs right now. But um, not just that, I think they're both really good players, and I think Thomas really deserves to be on the cover. Championship Paintball 2009, it's not a bad champion, I mean, not, not a bad, not a bad paintball game. Vampire Reign, this game is extremely hard, I wouldn't pick it up unless you like hard games. Red Dead Redemption, the game of the year for 2010. Wow, this game was amazing. I bought this for my, for my birthday, not expecting anything great. And I was just absolutely wowed when I played it. It was an amazing game, and I don't think I've played a game yet that's been better than that. It's just so much fun. Rockman, my cousin gave me this game for free because he doesn't have an Xbox. He's got a PS3 now, so yeah, but I don't like PS3 a whole lot. Whoops. Saints Row, an amazing game. Once again, this game turned me off because the respect was so hard to get in this game. Nothing like Saints Row 2, where getting respect was so much easier. The oh, sorry about that. The game overall was a lot better, and I just enjoyed it a lot more. Skate, um, pretty good skateboarding game. I'm not a fan of skateboarders. But the skate games are really cool. I like how you all with the analog stick and stuff. Shell Shock 2. Um, honestly, a lot of people said it was made on a low budget, so it sucked. I actually thought it was a pretty decent game. Uh, what it is is you're in Vietnam and there's zombies because the one guy escapes out. And yeah. So you're basically fighting in Vietnam with zombies. So. I thought it was a pretty cool storyline and I liked it. You can let me know what you think about it if you played it. Silent Hill Homecoming, I didn't really, I haven't even played that game. Sneak King, um, the other Burger King game that I have, I don't have Pocket Bike Racer. But uh, Sneak King was a lot of fun too, and if you see all three of these games for cheap, I definitely picked them up because they're well worth picking up for that cheap. Sonic the Hedgehog is a horrible game. Never don't pick that up unless you collect, even if it's like 99 cents. Stunman Ignition, I absolutely love this game. 
I couldn't stop playing it for the longest time, and then I got another game and stopped playing it. I got really, really close to beating it, though, and it's a really fun game. And my last Xbox 360 game is Tony Hawk's Project 8. Um, yeah, I played the first level and got stuck, so I just stopped playing it. So, anyways, oh, sorry about that, for covering the camera there. This is my whole collection. Sorry about shaking us. Okay, sorry, let me... So, uh, yeah, there's some other collections you can check out if you want. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment, subscribe. I'm almost hit 200 subscribers. That'd be really awesome. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.